Hey guys, this is Chelsea. Thank you for coming to my channel. I'll be reviewing Mad Max Furiosa. I saw this over the past weekend. It has a runtime of two and a half hours. And it's divided into five chapters. This is a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. And it's directed by George Miller, stars Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth. So like I said, this is a prequel. This is before Mad Max Fury Road. So we follow Furiosa from the Green Place, aka the Place of Abundance to the Citadel and to Gastown. So in this film we find out how she lost her part of her arm and how she may becoming one of the wives and just her journey from the Place of Abundance to Gastown and to the Citadel. Now I really liked it because of that specifically, like it was a good prequel. It did tell us a lot of backstory of Furiosa. And for the first hour of the movie, we actually don't see Anna Taylor-Joy for a while. We just see the little girl in her childhood how she grew up and just her background in general and how her mind works and what her values are. And then she is unfortunately brought to the Citadel and to Gastown. She's like kind of oscillates back and forth. And we meet Dementis, which is one of the villains in the movie played by Chris Hemsworth. Overall, this was a good film because it was a prequel, but I do feel like the writing was very thin especially when Furiosa has a confrontation with Dementis, and this is in part of the trailer, so I'm not spoiling that part. But I do feel like when that part happened, the writing was very thin and the lines were predictable. And I honestly kind of checked out from the film, like within the first 30 minutes. I did appreciate the backstory and I did come in and out of it throughout the way. What really carried me through this film were the action scenes throughout. Those were very well choreographed and it was very reminiscent of Fury Road which is, you know, very Mad Max-esque. The extras were very maniacal and very creepy, and the action scenes just carry you throughout this beautiful landscape of the desert, and that was very poetic and very beautiful to watch. And of course, the costumes are always spot on, very post-apocalyptic, very dirty and grimy. And Anya Taylor-Joy did a very good job of acting through that, through the makeup, through all of the excess of what was around her and she was very emotive in her expressions. Now Dementis as a villain I felt like was also very thin. His motives were not always clear and for me maybe I missed that nuance a lot and perhaps there's a lot of backstory that I don't know about him but I felt like overall his motivations were not very complex and they lacked a lot of depth. I do love Chris Hemsworth and I do think that his acting was good. I just don't feel like the character was um, perhaps the most worked through in relation to the film. As of today, this did get 80% Rotten Tomatoes, and I do feel a little weird going against a lot of those reviews, but I do just feel like as part of the whole franchise, this was perhaps the weakest of them. I, you know, it's hard to compare it to Mad Max Fury Road. I want them to be separate entities, but it is a prequel, so I do have to compare the two together. And I just feel like Fury Road had a lot more depth when it came to the story. I feel like all the characters were very clear on what their motives were. They were clear about their relation to one another. And they didn't just rely on the action scenes or perhaps the setting to carry the film through. And I just feel like for Furiosa, even though the actors were good and the setting was good, I just feel like the writing was predictable and it was very easy to see what lines they were going to say next and that for me just took me out of the film completely. Now that being said, I do feel like that direction was very good and like I said, it was a very good prequel. I do feel like I got a lot of information and I will of course do the next one. I love the Mad Max series and I'm looking forward to the next one whenever that one comes out. I know that Furiosa had a little bit of difficulty with the financing of it so I'm trying to keep that in mind as well but yeah, overall, I just it just wasn't for me, and I but I do encourage you to go see it either way. I do feel like it's worth seeing. It was just perhaps not as what I was expecting because I hyped it up a lot in my head, honestly, and perhaps I shouldn't have. And yeah, those are my thoughts for this Furiosa, and I will see you guys for the next review. Bye.